just got to memory lane. I have to say, I do not think I'll be doing this again. The parking lot is packed. I hate the crowds at the antique mall. A lot of people ask why I don't go to thrift stores and honestly, it's because of the energy. Um, it's just so chaotic in there and that's kind of how Saturday is at the antique malls. Poodles, Gobel salt and pepper shakers, $10. Is there a discount? No put those back it's still a fair price for sure but i'm on a roll here this looks like a little cameo doll knickerbocker 6.95 and 20 percent um, oh i'm not sure if i can get with that so perhaps a little bit of deja vu once again i made it out of there $49 was my total, which is exactly what it was last time. So once again, all this for under 50. Okay, last stop. Now, it seems my new thing is every time I come to Boonesboro, I leave something I regret leaving. So I'm gonna go in, hopefully that trash can's still there. The thing was neat. Okay, this little shelf was not here before. I love this, that is so pretty. $19 made in Italy. Uh, that's probably pretty close to what I'd get for that after fees. This ashtray's fun, too. This is a vendor I buy a bunch of stuff of. Okay, I cannot ignore this. This is incredible. $43. Yeah, I'm gonna put that back. That is really interesting. I've never seen one quite like that before. Alright, so the first thing I notice are these cat salt and pepper shakers don't like that you can see the glue how much are they 11 bucks that's a little little steep for me a little plain Janie but these owls are incredibly unique I've actually never seen this pair before it's a really strange color too uh, normally I'm like extremely thrifty but even at $11, I know I can make money off of these. I'm gonna go ahead and grab them. I'm also a really big fan of this tray. That is super neat. Although I don't think I can um, get anything out of it at $22. And the little owls, those were here before, but they moved. The orange bell, I've had that a few times. What is going on here? Hamburger press with the cow. That is so neat. I'm not sure how well that would sell. What was that? Oh, this is what caught my eye over here. Let's see. Lucite daisy and butterfly tray, $20. That's really quite pretty. Again, a little bit more than I'd like to spend though. What is this? Poodles in Paris? Oh my gosh, and then, oh, I thought it said George Briard at first, George Bucket, 1963. You know, I kind of want to pick this up. I'm not sure how well, oh my gosh, I'm making a mess. I'm not sure how well this one would sell though. I feel like this one might do a little bit better, but I've bought, bought things like this in the past and honestly, they're kind of a tough sell. And there's nothing to hang on the wall. The walls, uh, the frame itself is a little janky. I'm gonna pass on that. And then there's that little elephant I looked at last time. So cute. Of course, I always like these little ones on the chain. $20, that's about retail on that. Is this? No, that's not what I thought it was. She's cute. $9. I think I looked at that last time and passed. What is this bulldog mug? That is fun. Japan. It's in pretty good condition too. Where's the tag on you? $19. That's a pass. Oh, and here's one of those funny coconut purses. I think I like these way too much. 
Wait, why is it only $3? That is too cute. Well, for $3, I'm not gonna... You know, coconuts have been kind of a tough sell, but... I kind of feel like for 12, uh, for three bucks, I'll sell it for like 13, 14 or something. Too cute not to. Let's see, my favorite uh, vendor here, it looks like they got a lot of new stuff. This is really kind of fun. It's a bottle opener. How does that work? Either way, it's kind of neat. Can't really tell how old it is though. Oh, that's two pieces. Hmm. All right, looks like it's still here. I'm not sure why. It's also less expensive than I remember it. I'm not sure why I let this go at $14. Really 15 after tax, but yeah, no, it's got great character. I'm gonna go ahead and pick this up this time. It's got a couple of bends, but I mean, it's a trash can with daisies, so can't really be mad at it got one of those Siamese cats. Uh, these have been here forever. I'm gonna go ahead and look at the price on that. So it's $19. That's just around what I'd get for this after fees. So there's a lot of different versions of this. Um, I wanna say the last couple I sold were between $17 and $23. So I'm gonna put that back. See, now this is what I'm talking about when I say people do really neat stuff with doll heads. This is absolutely beautiful. Assemblage. Wow, and it's only $35. I mean, it's an Armand Barce uh, Marcel German Bisque doll head, which is worth $35 alone with those glass eyes. That is really nice. All right, let's see what else we got here. This booth uh, looks like it rearranged for the first time in who knows how long. Like the Cardinal salt and pepper shakers. $2.50. They're definitely older, even though they have new stoppers. You can tell by the bottom. And then this guy. That's a tall one. Nor what is it? Norlands? Norlands. Pottery. It looks like uh, his paint's coming off a little bit. Even at $4, it's still a steal. I'm a bit hesitant to pick him up. Just because the paint loss looks like it's gonna get worse. Ugh, pain's mean, but I'm gonna put them back here. I've been finding some real interesting stuff in this booth. Uh, these kind of caught. Wait a minute, this bunny vase. Did I look at this last time? That is really cool. $15 probably leaves a little room, not as much as I'd like. But I was looking at these. These are very strange. French family shakers. Very strange. I'm not sure what to make of that. They're definitely neat though. Okay, also, I know this is like new. Um, came from like a mall store, but I actually really like it. Kind of want to try that on. All right, well, I liked it, but I always buy stuff like that and then never wear it. So I think I'm gonna leave it if it's meant to be and I still like it last next time I'll grab it not really seeing anything uh, else here I think I'm gonna go ahead and call it a day wait what is this well that is cool enamel dish $14 uh, is it signed anywhere? Who cares? I feel like uh, I feel like that would probably sell. Make probably double my money on that. It's really a neat piece. Hmm. I'm a little on the fence. I'm trying to limit my spending. I feel like if I leave it, I'm gonna be like, oh, I love something else I regretted. All right, got the trash can and a couple other goodies. I'm gonna call it a day and uh, see you guys tomorrow. Oh, and I only spent $83 today in total, which is crazy. Cause that mermaid thing will probably sell for 
60-ish alone after fees and such. So, well, maybe not after fees, that's a little generous, but either way, I got some good deals.